drag her. Come on, quit dragging your heels. You're really living up to, to your nickname today. Book one of those doesn't park here forever, you know. Oh, uh, I don't know, Lucy. I don't really want to hang around an old library on a great afternoon like this. Besides, how can you carry a big armload of books like that? I think it would make you dizzy to read all that, even if you are bookworm. Me, I don't even have a library card. What's the matter with the library? I think it's a neat place. Uh, I don't know. Just when you go to the library, they always give you the eye and go, shh. Well, you're supposed to be reading, not flapping your jaws. Anyway, I really wanted to go to to the movies today. There's a great picture all about time machines, monsters, and stuff. Just come to the library for five minutes, and I'll return these books, will you? Oh, all right, but only for five minutes. All that peace and quiet makes me nervous. Let's see what I have. Hey, that's funny. This book isn't mine. What is it? The Runaway Bookmobile. Let's see if there's a library card inside. Nope, not a trace of the owner. Hey, Dragger, listen to the spooky way this book begins. The two unsuspecting children enters what seemed to be a normal, everyday bookmobile. Little did they suspect that the most astounding adventure of their lives was about to begin. Oh, I don't know. I bet it doesn't have any monsters in it. Sick. Yeah, let's go in. That's the librarian. She looks weird. Shh, pipe down. She'll hear you. See, I have been here for two seconds and you're already shushing. You know something? I think you're right. That doesn't look like our librarian at all. <clears throat> Miss? Aha! Uh -huh. Customer! Yikes! You aren't a librarian. Who are you? I'm the quintessence of bibliography. But you can call me Biblio for short. Gee whiz, you look like something from outer space. Very good guess, Dragon Dugan. I'm from outer space and inner space, from anywhere to any place, from Omicron to Amberstand by way of never... Neverland, where mankind's restless thoughts must flow. There goes obedient Biblia. Cool, real Ellie and Jeannie. Are you going to put us under your powers and keep us prisoners? Not at all, Dragon Dugan, not at all. As a matter of fact, you are the one person I do not have under my power. As for holding you prisoner, the only prisoners a library can hold are those under the enchantment of the written word. And I sadly fear, Dragon Dugan, that you will not let yourself be enchanted. So? So, it is my job to open that closed mind of yours, let the sunlight of the printed word trickle in. What's that? Those are my disembodied voices. Every alien genie has disembodied voices. Scully, are they ghosts? Not exactly. They're the voices of all the books in all the libraries in all the world. Books, 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 books. Tell me, children, what do you think this bookmobile really is? It's a kind of library on wheels, isn't it? Things are never what they seem. Walls and floors may be a dream. A Thee. Therefore, go with me, 
and I will give thee fairies to tend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. And I will purge thy mortal goodness so, that thou shalt like an airy spirit go.
<coughs> and my torts, even the most bold fellows, are well read and, and well spoken. Why is Sir Walter Raleigh himself both reads and writes books? Shall I have him teach you to fence and to ride to hounds? Sir Walter Raleigh, oh boy! And my lord, Sir Francis Drake, if it please you, is the most brilliant navigator and seaman. Where did he learn his trade? From the journals of Magellan and Vasco da Gama. All warrants? Tell me, would you like to sail as Magellan toward the Golden Hind and search for treasure? I won't even wait to pack my toothbrush. I'm ready to go right now. <laughs> oh, Biblio, can we go for the queen? Please, Biblio. I'm sorry, you two are both tied by time to the 20th century, and Her Majesty must return to the 16th century. Tis true, alas. Twas all too brief a visit, but my England calls me. Farewell. Visit me again in your history books. Never let yourself get caught. Sorry, sir. 
No need to apologize. Practice makes perfect. Have another. Excellent work. Clever lad. I don't think I've seen a more clever lad. Here's a shilling. A whole shilling? I've never had a whole shilling before. Now, you mind, Fagin, and you'll see many more like it. You see, Oliver, in this life, one thing counts. In the bank, large amounts. I'm afraid these don't grow on trees. You've got to pick a pocket or two. Large amounts don't grow on trees. You've got to pick a pocket or two? Oliver, it's how it's done. Why should we break our backs, stupidly paying tax? Break us from untaxed income. Why should we all break our backs? You better pick a pocket or two. Robin Hood, what a crook. He gave away what he took. Charity's fine, subscribe to mine. Get out and pick a pocket or two. Oh,